Good morning guys, uh, as you can see by the title, today's video is about the RSS feeds and RSS readers. Uh, I've touched on these in the past since, you know, previous videos. People have sent me in emails asking me, you know, what are they, how do you go about setting them up, that type of thing. Are they relevant, are they beneficial for, for them? Um, and I th So I thought because of the amount of emails that I'm getting for, uh, I thought maybe I'd do a video on it. Um, Probably the most of you have seen this icon, the icon that's on the desktop now, not really knowing what it's about or anything like that. Uh, or if you have done, you've not known really whether you think the RSS feeds are for you. Well, I'll explain this as best I can and I'll break it down into two sec sections. First of all, you've got, when you go on to different websites, you have the option of clicking on or subscribing to their RSS feeds. And basically what it does is, anytime they update their, their content of their website, and it can be for the entire website or individual sections, individual pages um, that are relevant to you, you can click on this RSS feed and as soon as they update it, you will get notified about it either through a content aggregator, which I'll explain in a second, or via email. So in other words, if I go on my website and I write an article and as soon as I click publish it, if you have subscribed to my RSS feed, you will get notified about it either on your iPad, your iPhone or your Mac, whatever you're using at that particular time. Now, the content aggregators, there's many of them. Uh, you can either have them on your desktop or you can use them online based, in, in which case I'm talking about Google's reader. Um, you can also buy applications for the iPhone or the, or the iPad or the iPod Touch. Uh, for the RSS feeds as well. So I think the best thing to do is to show you a little bit about these first of all. Most of these are free, these content aggregators are free. Uh, possibly the most common one for Mac users is Net Newswire. Windows users I think uh, it's Sharp Reader or Feed Reader and then Linux is Life Era. Um, I don't really new use Net Newswire at the minute. I've been using Grummel, but they're all pretty much the same in terms of how they look and how they're set out and what they do. If you have a look down the side here, I've broken them up into different sections, okay? So I've got gaming news, general technology, Linux, Mac, blah, 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 all the way down the side here. Now, if I click on, if I didn't segregate all these into different folders, this is all it would look like. All the websites that I subscribe to would just be cluttered down the side here. And as you can see, the, there's numbers here right by the side of them, and that lets me know that there's six, say here, uh, let's go to um, Techno Buffalo. There we go. There's 13 unread feeds from Techno Buffalo that I need to read. But for now, let's go back into the, the folder section, which makes it much easier for me to explain. So go, if I go into general technology, go down to Techno Buffalo, click on Techno Buffalo, and up at the top here, it gives me the title of each individual. Uh, article that John has written. So if I click on is Nintendo Wii dying, down at the bottom it just pops up a very very brief description of what that article is about. Once again if I want to know more about it click on the black bar and that will open up a tab at the top here and that takes me straight to the source of the um, the article so I can read much much more about it but it doesn't take me outside of the content aggregator so in, in other words it's you're still very much within everything that you're trying to do. I click on articles and right back to all the rest of the articles for Techno Buffalo. Click on it, do it again. Another a new tab will pop up and then I can go straight to it as well. So it's very very quick, and it has all the information coming to you rather than you going out and looking for it all the time. Now, like I said, there's lots, lots of uh, content aggregators. You've just got to find the one that suits your needs and is really basically is the most aesthetically pleasing to you. Once you have the information here as well, you can do lots of different things with it. Like you can send it to read it later, Tumblr, you can send it, you can forward it on a tweet, anything at all like that. Uh, let's go down, I'll show you Net Newswire. It's pretty much the same format. There you go. Again, let's go into General Technology, uh, Techno Buffalo, same type of thing. Click on, the ones with the, when it's got a little blue dot down the side, it lets you know that it's unread. Uh, in the case of the Grummel one there, which, like I say, it's the one I use all the time. When I go into Techno Buffalo, 
you can see there there's a lot of feeds there that I've read they don't have the little blue dot so that lets me know that I've read those like I say when you're out with your iPad or your iPhone these all get synchronized with one another so if I'm out reading all these different articles if I took my iPhone now read all these articles that have got the blue dots when I come back to my Mac all those blue dots are going to be gone so it's, you're not you don't have to keep reading over the same thing so basically that's the content aggregators now how to get the RSS feed to your content aggregator or your email address I'm going to use my website if you go into your uh, a website that you really like the content of and you want to be notified of it straight away um, as you notice here on my site I've got different pages okay my home page is where all the information happens I have a giveaways page which is for um, members and that's really the only thing that I need to send RSS out for. So in other words, as soon as I have a new giveaway, if anybody has clicked on this, and that's basically what will happen. If you have a content aggregator installed, when you click on one of those, the feed will just automatically fall into your content aggregator. If I didn't have anything at all like this, it would give me an option of either having it sent to me via email or sent through the Google Reader. Uh, but if somebody subscribed to the, the giveaways RSS, as soon as I update that, they would get notified of that change straight away as soon as I click publish. Same as the home RSS, all the information that I have here that I've written down about daily news and stuff like that, anything that's changing, anybody that subscribes to this by just clicking on it, they will get notified of that straight away as soon as it gets published. And then, like I said, if you didn't want to use the content aggregators actually on your desktop, then you have the Google Reader and again as you can see here Google Reader is pretty much the same as the the, the, uh, the Grummel and the Net News Wire. Um, that's really about it guys. Bottom line is the RSS feed is basically you are your editor of your own newspaper. As you're trolling through all these different websites that you like the look of and you think that the content is important to you, you can click on the RSS feed, have the the content of that website sent to you immediately as soon as it's published and that's it. There you go. You can see there that it's just come up new articles, and you can s so it lets me know that I've just had four new articles from Wired, and I can go straight there now and find out what those are. And that's it, guys. That's really all it's about. If you want to ask me any more questions about the RSS feeds or the RSS co content aggregators, by all means send me an email at harry at techplanet30.com or just leave some comments in the description bar down below or leave a video response. Or if there's anything else you want to tell me or um, ask me or anything at all like that by all means guys leave it all in the uh, in the comment section down below um, or send a video response um, and that's pretty much it guys so thanks very much for watching the video thanks very much for all your support and I hope to see you all soon thanks bye